Good day everyone, this is Amy Ann Bisto, your reporter, and for our topic for today is all about Chapter 6, Organization Finance. The handling of finance is extremely important to the success of a business enterprise. Money is needed to start a business and to keep, uh, to keep the business in operation and uh, to expand it. Capable handling of finances provides money for all three purposes and it is needed by the business. So, here are the subtopics that I'm going to report. First, the financial function. Second, the different function of banks. Third, the budget. And the last is the credit information. So, and of course, here are the objectives. At the end of the report, the listener must be able to and there's, uh, to learn the function and similar factor financial. And it is to know the different function of banks to know the purpose of budget and also the last is to know the information sources of financial uh, financing uh, opportunities. All right, according to Mark Twain, Twain the, success, uh, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. So, all right, let's move on to the first uh, subtopic, which is the financial function. The chef financial officer may be, lead, uh, may be called vice president for finance or treasurer or controller, depending on the practice of the corporation. The treasurer, the treasurer arranges the insurance of stock and bonds, handle, handles the acquisition of short-term loans, and advises on the various means whereby the company could raise funds or borrow money. And uh, it also has similar factors that affect the need for working capital. So here are the first one, the capital pool or saving and investment. So saving are generated directly and indirectly by individuals, business enterprises, institution, governments, and others, the, this saving flows into capital pool or, or market through many uh, through many channels. So the market is a network of many institution channels and processes. It is distinguished by the different areas, areas it covers and the types of loans it makes. All right. This is uh, the second one is the financing the non corporate enterprise. So, in the case of a single pre uh, proprietorship and partnership, the initial, uh, initial capital comes from the individual, individuals directly interested. So, in addition to cash, uh, these individuals may contribute actual land building machinery and materials introduce a, a new enterprise uh, through cash and property uh, contribution is one of the oldest forms of business promotion so the next uh, the third is the initial corporation so stack as a corporate financial instrument are under the discussion of classes of uh, capital stock bond issue or company promises to repay the uh, the loan and are backed by a mortgage uh, on the a mortgage of the company property so bond are different form uh, other loans to a corporate in the and that they partake of the nature of mass borrowing so let's move on to the fourth uh, which is the financing day-to-day -day corporations so, once a business is started, the company cash uh, requirements are continuous for goods, wedge, and other expended tours. So the keeping and checking of accounts is done by the accounting department. The treasurer is constantly on the watch to see that the company's finances are conserved. So, and let's move on in the uh, fifth, which is the cash position. So the cash position of a company is the amount of money on hand or in sight in relation to its account payable and notes due. 
uh, careful manager managers reckon uh, on it frequently in many cases every day. Uh, a treasurer who can keep his cash position good is said to be a good money uh, manager. So, and the last is the financing sessional businesses. So, the significance of sessional business to the company treasurer is that during the dull season, uh, the company may not be producing enough the business bring to bring as much money. Yet the trained employees have to be uh, retained through the dull period. Materials must be purchased and wage must be maintained. And for the next uh, subtopic is all about the different uh, function of banks. Uh, banks are also also have two function. So first is the bank acts as middleman between savers and investors. That is between the supply or the demand for capital. And the second uh, function is the they supply the principal means of payment in modern communities. Bank credit financial institution can really uh, facilitate the saving investment process by performing one or more of the following gen uh, general functions. So, also, uh, it also has the general function. First, uh, the gathering, uh, disseminating, and using information. The second, for chasing, holding, and selling securities. Third, uh, the providing uh, diverse diversification and insurance against risk for save it, savers and depositors and the fourth is the increasing liquidity to those who part with money and uh, hold other claims uh, securities for example so and the last is explain the different kinds of credit so by that, here are the five functions accordance with their classification. So first, uh, the, the shorten financing tradition. It is used to for sessional uh, purposes, for example, to build an inventory. And then second is the intermediate term financing. Though. It's known forecast for the economy. Uh, business operations and cash flow are all important factors. Therefore, it is vital to know how much the lenders trust the borrower's administrative skills and predicting ability. And the third is the long-term financing. So, equity financing has the longest term since it involves investors paying money in exchange for stake in the business. So a stock certificate is used as evidence for the later. So, and the fourth is the government uh, financing. So government involved may be direct or it may be, I uh, may take the shape of a uh, shape of program. The government can make borrowing easier in other ways, as well as by offering insurance policy that are subsidized or controlled by the government. So, and the last is the off-bank financing. A corporation may guarantee the uh, independence of a sub uh, subsidiary of a company with uh, whom it has a business relationship. The debt appears on the balance sheet of the company for which uh, the guarantee is issued by uh, but it's not recorded in the issuing corporation's account. Corporation refers to financing which does not appear on a balance sheet. That's okay, let's tackle first the short-term financing tradition, which is uh, useful for seasonal purposes only. So here are the classification of short-term uh, financing traditions. So, uh, first is the trade uh, credit. Uh, it is uh, a normal uh, credit forms extended to firm by the supplier. So the second is the secured borrowing, most likely, uh, more likely to give most business financial support uh, than trade credit. A secured loan in is one that is secured by assets such as account receivable, inventories, machinery, equipment, cars, construction, constructions, 
building and some sort of contract. These loans are offered by a few different financial inter intermediaries including commercial financing firm, banks, and retail lenders. So the third is the unsecured borrowing. So, unsecured lines of credit in revolving uh, loans and short-term loans are all referred to as unsecured loans. So merely in the sense that they are not a block by the any particular asset of or collection of asset, the borrowing over overall financing and uh, operational strength as determined by the lenders, servers as security of unsecured credit. So, and the uh, here are the few uh, four which is the um, paper and notes. Uh, so, Short term money is also available through two names or three names paper for various types. So here are the classification of paper and notes, which is the uh, accepting uh, acceptance financing, which in order to borrow money using this uh, method, the borrower first set up a line of credit, which with the bankers and the issues a series of notes with materials and. Um, maturities ranging from 30 to 180 uh, days the notes is endorsed uh, or accepted by the banks and it it has the option of remaining its own portfolio or giving sold the general investment company so acceptance finance, financing is on the ashi range to from 30 to 180 days haya siya accept ang ihang um, finance. So, it, the second one is the commercial papers. So, commercial papers are promissory notes that have maximum duration of nine months and are not sure secured. Um, a corporation may sell directly to institutional investors at discount, either directly or via a commercial dealer. They are typically issued by big, well-run businesses and are neither accepted or nor con countersigned by anyone so and the last is the captive uh, financing it may be a good idea for businesses who offers goods uh, in exchange for lease rental or installment payment to consider establishment they own Bi financing companies such as business will lend will we'll leave money instead of taking it out so and it is and it, and it can uh, acquire highly uh, leveraged credit it is our uh, own name rather than in the name of the parent company so emojong kaugalingan so uh let's move on in intermediate term financing so this is known as forecast economy environment of business activity is called and cash flow all the significant factors. Um, the degree to which lenders trust the borrower in administrative skills of forecast ability is consequently critical. For example, leasing. A lease is a legal agreement that allows the lease to utilize property such as machinery or building in exchange for requirement a payments to the owner leasing can be classified as financial leasing so not a net leasing genuine leasing or leverage leasing so that's it all right that's all for uh, intermediate uh, term financing and now let's move on in long-term financing so uh, equity financing so which takes place with investor pay money exchange for stake in business so it's a long term and equity equ certificates serve as for the letters let letter so here are the classification of long-term financing first is the deben uh, debentures uh, which is the credit and financing stability of the issuing company determine whether a term loan is secured or unsecured so conven convenient are typically include in the ventures to shell the holders from losing or having their security reduced so and then next is the bank so what is the bank a state and local governments are uh, re regularly use bonds financing act 
kind of long-term borrowing to raise a fund permanently for durable infrastructure investment. They raise them this money by selling bonds to investors. In exchange, they agree to pay back this money on the agreed upon terms plus interest. So, and that's all for long-term financing. And now let's move on to a uh, government uh, financing. So, government uh, involved may be direct or and may take the shape of program so the government can take borrowing easier in other ways as well as uh, may, uh, by offering uh, insurance policy that are subsidized or controlled by the government so and um, that's all for the government financing now let's move on in one bank finance so ensure to describe funding and not shown on the balance sheet so so here are the classification of off bank finance which is the first pt cash so although the uh, business often pays in invoices which check it is also uh, occasionally uh, essential to make small cash payment the cashier is given access to a specific amount of money known as the pity cash fund of his, of his reason. So the cashier of other businesses representatives might be uh, permitted to make payments out of their money. So, and the second is the payment for good uh, purchase. So, uh, verifying that the item have been delivered and are what was ordered in a crucial step uh, no payment shall be made without uh, first being due uh, delay examined verified and proved by the company treasurer there should be protection in place to stop multiple uh, payment of the same bill so and the third is the balance uh maintaining bank balances so care care must be a uh, taken to prevent overdrafts while making sure that other obligations such as minimum balance requires are met. So there are the fourth is the estimating cash requirements. So there are already established expense uh, elements that influence uh, the amount of cash needed. How could the treasurer calculate how much money was required? For regular expenses such as account payable, utility costs for light, uh, power, gas, telephone, and telegrams. Currently purchase and non-regular expenses. So, there are the requirements here. Yeah, these are the requirements. So, first, for employees payroll. So, on the uh, one of the company's initial regular expenses is this. Every week of the 15 or at the end of the month, payroll obligation must be made. Payday occurs periodically and workers and employees must be paid right away. There are three different types of payroll, which is base rates, a uh, hourly uh, wage, uh, early wage, and the regular salary lease. So, and the second requirements is the for utility service. So, the typical utilities including pay phone, telegram, light, and power are billed are and paid on a month basis. So, these financial uh, needs can be essential predicting, predicted in advance. So, and the, four, uh, the third is for current purchase. So, in many businesses, commitment cannot be made without the treasurer consent. The treasurer may be in, informed in advance or of when invoices are due is if he is consulted before intended purchase are combined. It is only um, nature that the treasurer should be aware of the payments he will uh, have to ha to make in advance since he is required to furnish the funds. So the last requirement is for non-routine expenditures. So according to company custom, the treasurer are or any other seniors official may be assigned to approve a specific amount for non-routine expenses. So, it is necessary to budget for unusual expenses such as the acquisition of the specialized goods or items that could cost 
more than the allocated allotted allotted amount so and the fifth uh the fifth um uh classification of bank financing is the company commitment so a commitment sheet uh which the treasurer may always refer to the uh to see how much money is due when and when it's updated as premises are made since budget approval is true to provide a specific uh, sufficient uh, justification or spending it follows that the commitment sheet will likewise uh, include budget items so, and here are the six the budget as well manage a company operates uh, under the budget plan that includes a detailed assessment or of the company anticipated earnings and expenses some businesses created the uh, budget in great detail so that each brand manager and the department heads is well aware of the uh, portion of the revenue and expenses each is responsible for and the seventh is for protecting the securities of the company. Bank secures both, which as features time blocks, uh, are the safest a place to store all security. Arm guards are typically uh, stationed where an entry is strictly controlled and limited. So, and the eighth is managing the real estate for, of the company. So, the treasure must be a safeguard. Um, more than just the company's cash and securities, the treasurer is responsible for ensuring that all the taxes are paid on time. Rent is collected from renters. Repairs are made when necessary. Insurance is obtained and renewed and constructions uh, work is appropriate uh, overseen if the company's own real estate and structures and the name is the pays taxes when due collection uh, with due collection bills may be misplaced in the mail or delivered in error but that is no justification for not paying them when it comes to purchasing invoices a question should be asked so that the bills may be paid in time to benefit from each discount so and the tenth is to uh, see the rent are collected. So, as a solid follow up merchant, um, mechanism is necessary for the collection of rent from companies own real estate in order to receive the money when it's due. Some tenants pay their rent on time. However, some tenants put off paying their rent for a variety of reasons. Less outstanding rent will be owned to the landlord who follows up shifty every day after pay, payday at the end of the month. So, and the 11th is leasing companies. So, owned property, the treasurer, other duties include leasing company owned property, the company's interest by the protected and leases uh, must be appropriate drafted leases may uh, require notification within the predetermined uh, time frame for renewal or termination if this uh if this uh, situation is not handled at the time embarrassing issuing issues are occurred so and the 12th is maintenance of the maintenance of the property so to avoid the need for substantial and costly repairs firm properly um, property should be um, maintained and repaired as soon as possible injuries brought on by a failure to repair may result in a damage suit if the Property is utilized by the tenant. Each piece of uh, firm equipment should have a a systematic records to assess in neglecting and potential depreciation. So, and the last classification of, of financing is 
um, insurance protection. The operation of the business cannot be conducted without uh, adequate insurance protection. So, in fact, it is might uh, it might depend on it. Personal property or third party risks are the potential threats to the company. Uh, every risk has a unique insurance need and renewing insurance policy before the expire leaves the business uh, defensive. All right, that's all for different function of banks. And now let's move on in the third subtopic, which is the budget. So a budget plan that outlines where the money is coming from and going would guide the operation as of a well managed business. So a budget is a statement of goal that includes data in terms of sales, cost, production, manufacturing, profits, and other areas. It's established uh, objectives to be made. So here are the purposes of budgets. First is the planning. A will organize a schedule of tasks for particular times of operation. So planning. Planuhon ni mo ang imong budget, mo ang money, o kung saan ni mo pag budget. And then the control, a standard or measurement of resort against results against which uh, variation from uh, previous plan become evident. So, and that last is the coordination activities are in uh, uh, coordination activities are include in a plan plan for the entire business. So, democratic procedures essential to the creation and administration of a budget tends to promote uh, communication and cooperate. A cooperation among staff, a member, and department. All right, uh, that's all for the budget, and now let's move on to the last subtopic, which is the credit information. So, analyzing financial data might be benefit uh, greatly for from the enterprise of an accounting firm. Without accurate information. Even the best manager management in the world would be helpless. So lenders prefer to examine reports in person to ensure that they align with companies' overreaching uh, goals and give a clear, understandable image. So here are the information sources of financing opportunities. So first is the um, short-term borrowing. The company's bunkers are the most crucial source and may also be applicable for loans of up to 10 years. The ex exception is a business where commercial papers in an acceptable substitute. Bro brokers are willing to serve as middlemen in, in the sale of the paper to the investment public. So the financing offer uh, officer can lead about short-term financing to brokers so and the second is the useful up-to-date information to the loan borrowing may be obtained from the corporate finance department of any money center bank or from a similar department in the uh, office of a major or regional broker so uh, some companies with uh, sub substantial needs may find it practical to talk directly with institutional investors such as insurance companies. So, and the third is the advance advice on the placement of equity is available for members of the underwriting fraternity. So the fourth is in the area of background, uh, reading excellent practical and associational papers are demons, uh, they disseminated by the leading banks and underwriters so and the last is explain fully the differences between stack and bots the reason why one and not the others is issue and how the issue is regulated all right when you purchase a bond you join the company organization or government that issue it as a creditor so bonds provide a privilege uh, pledge to provide bondholders 
with periodic interest payments of the specified amounts. So dividends are paid to stockholders of a corporation when and in whatever quantities the directors deem appropriate. And that's all for my topic. So, and, and according to Benjamin Franklin, beware of little expenses. A smaller leak will sink a great ship. So, and that's all for today. Thank you and God bless. See you in my next report. Bye!